What's up everyone? Welcome back. I just made sure I hit the right button because I fat fingered it. So, beta branch. I want to play with Matt, I think. Yeah, let's, let's grab Matt. Phrasing. Um, first play and then grab. And let's see how many points we have. We have five. Yo, James. John Wick. Tactician hitman expert with all kinds of weapons. Yeah, that's John Wick. <laughs> hey, Keanu. Um, we can unlock a key trader. So, oh wow, I'm unlocking three when I didn't even finish four. That was a bit, that was a bit stupid. Any case, let's see what this does. Can you shortcut? All right. Okay. Yo, there's a lot of items. Yo, I decided to run all the way right. Oh, thank you. And the side is guns. Actually shows you how many items are in the game. And then all the babies. Okay. What is this? What do these do? What is... Achievements, reset. Office. See, this feels like something that should have been in the, in the game on release. Alright, well, now we know that it's like a, a tower, at the very least. Yeah, let's go. Let's hop straight into this one. Alright, my phone's been vibrating a lot and I forgot to check it before stopping the, the various recordings. Alright, so, let's just head straight into it. Matt has a really good weapon. And these guys are going to shoot, bait up the shot, jump up there. All right. Well handled, Paulie. Thank you, Paulie. Okay, I think I might have been placeboing myself a bit. These enemies do seem as tanky as they're supposed to be. Um, so I think I was actually placeboing myself. Oh, free stuff. An egg. Nice. So we have two cents and nothing else. We still have full HP. We don't have any bombs. Be used to interact with that chest so let's see this is going to be the true test um, of okay so he rolls in the direction your mouse pointer is looking not the direction of hitting on the keys I don't want to sound uh, selfish but I do think that might be something that they should uh, change to the direction you're holding because let's check here I'm looking right but I'm running left Oh, but if you're shooting... He, oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm, I prefer it if it always just went in the direction of WASD keys, but... At the same time, it doesn't really matter that much. If you use the character often, often enough, you'll be used to it. And we already got the cat gun, nice. Let's see how that is in comparison to the umbrella. Because the umbrella is pretty good, but I'm pretty sure this will be better. Um, this gives us money or something. Drops to random items and cost two crystals. Wow, surely hoping for a bomb. But I'll take the scent. Um, let's go try out this gun in a room so I can make up my mind. I do like it because it can pierce through walls. So if we end up in any of those rooms where there are bombs on the other side of the wall where the loot is, and I've got no way to interact with those bombs, uh, this is a very good way of interacting. We have no way to access the keys, but I do like the fact that I just noticed that you can push these chests. Well, I noticed it in the first recording, but at some point out, you can actually push the chests around, um, which is really, really nice. You can push them to where you want them so you can interact with them. Uh, maybe push them up to an explosive barrel or something like that. Don't like what's happening here. Yeah. For that exact reason, I was not enjoying what's happening. Okay. 
that that delay the game gives you just to react when you come into the room has I think really made a a big difference in how I can tackle these rooms and, and reduce the damage I take. I'm quite happy with that one. I think I want to stick with this cat gun. It sometimes deals an insane amount of damage because when the original bullet hits the enemy and then the subsequent bullets shoot out of the enemy, I think that counts as a triple hit. Uh, it might not, but I think it does. Let's grab the portal. Let's keep going this way. We still haven't found our item room, I don't think. Unfortunately, didn't spawn as, a, as an explosive barrel, which now can happen, which is amazing. Oh, that was all just top left. Holy cow. How big is this floor? I mean, you can, you can do quite a bit of fun things with this weapon. Hit things at an angle that you might not normally be able to hit them. Sometimes you'll explode. Okay. I'm cool with that. Uh, we did find the boss room, but I really do want some consumable. There's a lot we can interact with on this floor. And uh, I'd like to charge up the blessing as much as possible. And I think that's about it. <laughs> Big talk for someone who's just going to go to the boss fight now. I think I want to keep the cat gun. Boss fight is up here, right? Yeah. I think I want to keep the cat gun. Please, not the battery now. Not the battery now, but a, a, a less preferred arena. For sure. Just give me the flat. When I fight, when I fight George, just please just give me the flat arena. That went wrong in many different ways, but also ended up going fine. Uh, I put myself in a bad position. I want to get out. Oh, they bit me midair. Yeah, the beta branches like reinvigorated me um, with this game. No consumables, let's just move on. Um, honestly, I wasn't like, oh, I'm over the game. But I felt like I, I, I wanted more content. There were a lot of small things that were were bugging me in the life world. So being able to play this now and having a few of those things addressed. The enemy spawning into the rooms, I think, is the... The biggest bonus for me here. Oh no, I didn't know it was one of you up there. And I just realized something else, the the pointy shots that come off the cat's bone. They come off the fish bone bullets. Um are piercing. So they can go through the armor of the pink guys. That makes this weapon a lot better than I might have given it credit for in the past. Like, I've always liked it and felt like it does more damage than um, it maybe should. Or that it would. It deals more damage than it would normally on paper. Let's put it that way. Maybe that makes more sense. And. Yeah, this is definitely why. If that is the case, it's very good at dealing with those uh, armored enemies. We need to find access to a key somehow. So, yeah, my. my Experiences in the in the previous episode, I think, were skewed. They can once again just be skewed. I mean, we don't have a big uh, pool of information we're working off here. This could then just once again be a run that has really bad luck when it comes to getting items, uh, getting consumables. It is an RNG-based game, but I really, I really was hoping that they did address the. The key thing, the barrels definitely help, but once again, you, you need to have those consumables to start with, to start taking access, start taking action to access the other, the other consumables. Like, you need them to start with. Then you can get the ball rolling. That was, that was 100% me. That was our free item, and I really feel like we need it on this run. Oh, there's someone up there. Oh, 
was unawares. Oh man, we are living on the edge here. Um, seeing as the moldy hearts can't kill us, um, we unlocked that in the previous episode. If you didn't see that, head back and just watch the star to see what else we unlocked in the in the skill tree. Moldy hearts can't kill us anymore, so definitely worth waiting on that one to grab it. And in all honesty, I'm going to be a bit stupid. I feel like this run needs some needs some spunk. Not that kind of spunk, man. I feel like this run needs some spunk, otherwise we're not going to progress. Chance to just not take damage, extra bullets and in range increase, and then extra bullets and movement speed increase. How's our range looking? Hmm. Go for this instead. Increase the extra bullet for shot, increase the weapon. Oh, so it's not what I thought it was whatsoever. <laughs> Whoops. But yo, this. I don't. I haven't had this cat item with the extra bullets for a while, and man, is it good. It's really a good item. Is that a bag of money? It's just a bag of money. And here we go, immediately charging up our purple again, and you get a bit more than you used to get from the chests. Oh, having two bombs, that can, that can put us in a position where we can stop leveraging our... Um, the bombs can put us in a position we can start leveraging our... No, I really don't want to. But I have to. Might as well do it now. Where we can start leveraging our consumables a bit. Deal melee damage to enemies who make contact with you. Does that include, like, overlapping them? Or do they have to, like, make contact, like, do contact damage to me? Uh, let's hope and pray that there is access over here. We can enter the secret room. And we get an extra bomb. Okay, hopefully there's a way somehow for us to, ch to turn these uh, extra bombs into some keys. This is an example of, of one. Oh, but it didn't go according to plan, man. That was, that was a high spend. Yeah, it can't do lethal damage to us, but it can put us on pretty much dead. Good to know that as well. There's a lot, of, a lot of learning going on right now. Definitely a lot of learning going on. Just really hoping for a heart. Um, we can access our item room now. Hopefully this has some form of hit points. Friendly sprites. There's some real coins trying to get extra bombs. I like having a, a supply of bombs, but once again, I am substantially more worried about the boss fight coming up while I have half HP. Is there anything else we can do? Do I have enough money to go buy the heart? Should have bought the heart instead of the item I bought at the shop. Daniel? Oh no, new boss and half a heart? Um, excuse me? What are those? Oh, they're home. Alright, good to know. Well, they do have a little timer, so they aren't too bad to dodge. Alright. We have survived. <laughs> cool new boss, though. Once again, I, I think this is the state the game should have released in. Um, let me know down below if you guys agree or not. I really do think this is what it was. Maybe they're running out of money. Um, what does often happen in... Uh, game development, especially if it was kickstarted. I don't know if this game was indeed kickstarted. It actually came out of nowhere for me. Um, so I'm really not sure whether it was kickstarted or not. Could have handled that differently. Maybe could have hit that as well. Um, I don't know if it was kickstarted or not, but what does generally happen, um, I, sh I think I should say indie games and not just kickstarter, is game developers will have a certain budget to develop a game. Um, obviously they have a certain budget to develop the, the game you know what sometimes will happen is they'll get close to release like they'll be really really close to release and then as they play or as they get closer they begin to realize that they might run out of end very close might run, might run out of money very close to the end 
and then they'll get the game into a base version and ship it as it is in that base version and then as the sales of the game um, pick up after release they'll start well they'll, they'll keep working on the version that has more content so let's say this beta version and then as the sales start to as the sales start to pick up they'll um, they'll put the game on sale with less content because they've run out of money and they need to make the sales to continue the development. That is something that does often happen. You taking 10 cents is, is quite the, the expensive gamble for me. So I won't be taking advantage of that immediately. Okay, it feels like we're starting to ball a bit. It's a good feeling, it's a good feeling. And yeah, having access to this is nice I don't want the crystals but also uh, it's not the end of the world I think if I perfect two rooms I can use that better and I can use right now okay and yeah, it's a perfect one room and you'll understand what I mean now so I have now got access to this room without activating that crystal I'll grab tic-tac-toe I'll grab the Athena token I will get out of here then on this room we do a bit of a bounce, we interact here, and we've made... We've essentially increased the amount of progress we've made. By being patient. Uh, you know what? Not worth. Looks like those aren't as good as I thought they were. Uh, let me interact with this before accidentally shooting it again. Because there's a lot of stuff I want to interact with here. And we have taken damage on this floor. Goes out of the way, quite like that. This is the one. You know what I mean, the one. Mm -hmm. Still going to do an episode where I just make all the game sounds with my mouth. It's the melee pink spinning blade of death. Where if you do actually have melee damage upgrades, it pops off pretty nicely. Uh, we have not found our item room. I think there are quite a few weapons that are going to benefit from um, the enemies having a spawn indication and, and timer at the start of each challenge room, or at the start of each room, not just challenge room. I think there are quite a few weapons that are going to benefit from that um, a bit more. If you don't take damage, you get rewarded more. Alright, okay. Okay, okay. That is... A much more balanced way to handle those rooms because there were quite a few that I just pretty much cheated into. Doesn't matter if you take damage, you can just finish it quite easily. I will not open the chest though. Um, I do something to interact with our item room. So yeah, I've been having a pretty good time with this so far. It really has reinvigorated my enjoyment of the game and having a way to track my stats now as well with the uh, items I've picked up and things like that definitely also nice uh, you receive a delivery of a batch of bones so now we have 11 bones anything specific we can do with that on any of these I don't remember a specific place where I could have used that to my advantage uh, here is just a here is just a one for one trade one for one, after that display of uh, brilliant. Johnny's design is also a bit different, looks really cool. Alright, their projectiles aren't as bright anymore. Oh, the, specifically Johnny's projectiles aren't that bright anymore, the music notes. And they seem to be moving a little bit faster as well. Oh man, I took some dumb damage there. not a problem for me. You can actually shoot those. I've been curious about that. Range increase. An extra bullets per shot increases your weapons range. Oh yeah. Guys, I feel like we're popping here. I feel like we're popping. Popping off a bit.
Some ice cold coffee for me. All right, what else is going on here? Shall we really chin those right now? <laughs> I jeweled him. You do get money out of it, so if you can do a one for one trade, I think it's always going to be worth it. We create quite the wall of bullets. Oh, the one thing I can't trade you right now, my dude. Should have been the bomb boy. If you were the bomb boy, I could have given you some bombs. Which might lead to me having some keys. Damn, my nose is ready to right now. Head in here? I don't think there's a cat in here. Might be. Might be a cat in my bed right now. Might be. Oh yeah. I think I should start recording with this game. Um, things. I've reached a point now where. Um. I cannot say this. Where my passive non brain cell play has reached a decent state of uh, consistency to the point where I think I can definitely start out recording these episodes and have a nice start to the day. And then after this, hop into the amnesia. Doesn't seem like you can do that throw like I, I've been doing it most of the days. Uh, luckily that did work perfectly. It sucks that I used two bombs there. I could have probably tried to angle the bit of a better return on investment. Um, but all in all, your part is fine. This can hit through the wall, that's what I'm just standing here. We've got Yano again. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty, pretty hot on the trot right now. Uh, I would like to just kite these guys away from... No, it's, it's gonna happen. I dipped in. Oh, I was about to say I dipped in and I didn't get hit. Wait, who just dropped so much hearts? Who died? Someone died and dropped a ton of HP. Let's hop in here quick. Bouncy bullets? No. And extra bullets. That increases your weapon's range. It's reaching a point now where the range might be too far. Um, I do like having a, a set distance where the shots will explode. So we might be reaching a point where we might have gained a bit too much range. And I, I can't see anything. I'm just really going to try and keep an eye on my character. And... Uh, with the shots. Yeah, if you perfectly use me to get the, uh, the proper reward. Okay. Definitely a better way to balance the game. Uh, the free items from that every time is probably a bit too much. Paul, you speak as if you're winning every run. Yeah, no, but, you know, maybe I'm not. But balancing the other things to make it a bit harder and a bit more balanced, and then balancing that as well, I think they've reached a nice point. Equilibrium here. I'm liking what I'm playing now a lot more than I'm liking what I was playing. And a lot more than I liked what I was playing on the Fox server. It's pretty fun. What other popular game? So the example I just. Wait, what? Wait, what, what did I shoot? Did it not? Wait, that seemed like the door didn't immediately become red when I hit it. It made the sound and it was vibrating, but it didn't immediately become a red door. 
That's pretty cool if that's the case. Can indeed redo access all these. Which is a good feeling. As soon as I'm not hampered by having consumables in a run and I'm dealing decent damage like I am now, I start feeling pretty pretty confident. Um, then it's all just dependent on, on me not making a mistake. There could also just be a visual glitch because I saw the neon sign was also still vibrating there. Which probably shouldn't happen after I open the door, so that might just be a visual glitch. And I might just have gotten lucky. Uh, we are still looking for our item room though. Oh, where are we? Where could the item room be? Oh, where, oh, where has it gone? All the doors seem to be vibrating right now. Might just be a bit of a, a visual glitch. Bombs explode bigger, brighter, and better. I should really remember to not take that owl. Oh, combat as well. Okay. I should really remember to not take that item. Are they all dead? No, they're not all dead. Yeah, a lot of the background... A lot of the background door thingies and some of the lamps against the wall are visually vibrating. Let's see if I can sip coffee and make it through here. <laughs> we are heading over to the boss fight though. I don't think this, this floor has much left to give in terms of um, any meaningful item progression. Might have given us some money. That could definitely have been a thing that we could have gotten. It's just a visual mess right now. I cannot really tell you what's happening. Um, but I didn't get hit, so you know what? I'll take that as a win. Sit down, down to the next floor. There was an item in the shop that I had a bit of interest in. Um, but in the long run, I don't think it uh, would have been worth much. Sorry, let me just fix my hair here. Looks like I would have like bauble there. Um, so yeah. Let's just uh, keep going here. I'm, I'm pretty confident in, in the, the autopilot skills. So if we, if we want, we can have a bit of a... A chat about uh, my play experience now that I've finished Amnesia. I do give a bit of a, an opinion at the end of the playthrough. Um, okay, let's boss it up, then we can go on autopilot. It's August, guys. It's August. Oh, it's August. Gus? Whoa! Did they make you easier? And slower? Is, is there no way back out? Oh. I'm sorry guys, that's a bit of a disappointment. But honestly, we probably would have grabbed like two items on that floor and that would have been it. Uh, what are some of the items we've picked up? Um, teapot is a friend. Increase your rate of fire when he follows you. That's really cool that they added some of these pets. Uh, just adds an extra avenue of um, improvement that is not directly linked to picking up items. And it also makes the value of eggs a bit higher. I will check this for a secret room. It does make the value of pets a bit higher as well, which I think is is a, is a good move for the game. Okay. Uh, so we've, we've officially reached the point where I'm just going to walk into every room and just stand still in the corner and spray into the room. Uh, we've officially reached this point. Um, and then we can go on a bit of a... We can have a bit of a conversation here. So at the end of Amnesia, I just finished, it, finished recording it yesterday. Ooh, I picked it up while I was invincible after being hit. Um, yeah, I finished it yesterday. Uh, this is also a pretty cool room to have. I can trade eggs. I would ever want to trade eggs. They hold so much value. 
Getting onto this tan field might be a bit harder than I thought. Uh, explosions leave you on fire. No, none of these interest me. All right, so let's get back into the, the discussion I was trying to have with you. Um, so I finished amnesia yesterday. Whoa. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'll trade another one. I uh, lost one bomb, got four shields. Uh -oh. And doesn't hurt us on the way out anymore. That is a big bonus. Maybe if you have shields, it doesn't hurt you on the way out or, or some interaction like that. It's definitely a possibility. And then a Bitcoin. Oh, not the Bitcoin. So I finished Amnesia yesterday. Um, I really, 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 really enjoyed the playthrough. It felt good. Um, it is definitely the father of modern horror games. Um, we'll see what the new ones that are coming out. There's a few coming out oh, that have a bit of a horror twist on them. But it, it really just is the father of horror games, modern horror games. Um, there's, there's so much that they just do so much better than, than recent horror games. I mean, Blair Witch was a complete disappointment in its own right. Um, afterwards, I went, went and read some reviews just to see if, um, how, how my opinion stacks up with... I did not see that shot coming. Um, just to see how my opinion stacks up with some reviewers and... Uh, I think my take was a bit more positive than most of theirs. Um, so yeah, that excluding. Other than that, I hadn't played many horror games recently. Oh wow, you're making some really good progress. I haven't played that many horror games recently other than that. Forbidden Mask. Yeah, even with that, just from running, because all stats. Wait, what mask is this? I'm curious what that reference is. Accidentally got the secret room as well without even noticing. So, it is the father of modern horror games. Uh, we'll see what the, the new generation is. You, you can't really compare it to like the silent kills and things like that. Um, the Resident Evils. But it's it's got its own. It's got a bit of a different vibe to it. So I don't want to compare them. But. Interesting that that opened by itself. I don't want to. I don't want to compare it to those games, um, but I definitely do think that finding a game that's better than Amnesia One is, is going to be a bit of a a tough sale for me. I don't know where the last enemy is, guys. Um, it just did what it did incredibly well, and. I don't think anything's really gonna ride with it. The only thing I had an issue with was was the ending, but then I also came to the conclusion that horror games aren't there for the, the story. I think it, it really is just, they try and scare the pants out of you, you know? And uh, expecting a good story from that might be a bit too much to ask. And that also did change my opinion a bit on, okay. It also did change my opinion a bit on the, are they always going to take two keys this deep into the room? Um, where was I? That definitely changed my opinion on Blair Witch as well. Um, I think I expected too much from that game. Just hit the boss fight. Oh, that's such a cool picture. I'm not going to see his shots, so I'm just going to try and stand close-ish. And just spam him down. But it's still within his first attack's range, so let's try and get a bit more distance. Okay, he took a lot of damage there. Um, yeah, you don't really play horror games in this story, but... The passive world building, um, and, and lore, and the way that they passively told you the story through notes and, and flashbacks and amnesia. Um, to lead to such a disappointing... I'm not saying the end, the end of the story was disappointing, I just mean like you... I don't want to spoil it, but the final five minutes of the game was lackluster. Um, let's see if I can push this chest. I really wish they'd add that into the game. It might then be a bit too easy to access the chest without consumables. But, oh, that was not intentional. 
Um, and I really would have liked to get an item from that. Uh, just the final boss fight, I guess. Um, no, let's go. The final boss interaction was just disappointing. There was a bit of a lore dump while you were interacting with objects around the boss, and, and that was that was it. Um, but I'm really curious because playing. So we're gonna be playing Machine for Pigs. Um, we're gonna be, I think, recording one or two more episodes of this, and then installing uh, Machine for Pigs, and then we're gonna go from there. I don't know why I used that bomb there, that was stupid. And when I heard that they're releasing an Amnesia 3, I was incredibly amped, obviously, because I've got very fond memories of, of the franchise. I need more damage. I've got very fond memories of the franchise, and they've only grown fonder now that I've, I've revisited um, Dark Descent. And Machine for Pigs had nothing... I don't want to say it had nothing to do with with one. I don't really recall all too. I don't really recall all too well, but I don't think it. I remember kind of stepping. The heck. I remember f playing the second one and thinking, yes, this has nothing to do with the first one. Maybe now when I when I go back, I might realize um, more of a link between them. But. Alright. What are you? What man are you? Key man. Oh, I don't think I'll get anything from you. Can I? I can't. Um Maybe now I will have more of a an understanding now that I've actually finished the, the first one. Um recently. And then playing the second one. Maybe I'll have a better understanding. Maybe they're all linked and I just, just missed it. I honestly, I think I finished the second one, but I'm trying to recall. I'm just not sure if I actually did. I went from having a ton of bombs and no keys to having a ton of keys and no bombs. Anyway, so going and playing the second one now might change my opinion on that. But right now, my opinion is that... Um, Uh, right now, my opinion is that uh, they aren't linked very directly. Um, possibly not at all. Maybe I'll, I'll have a different opinion on that when I finish the, the second one now. Which I'm very excited to do. To play through the second one. And actually notice a bit more of the, the nuances, you know. I feel like I missed a lot when I played last time. I was, I was terrified. And now that I've finished the, the first one again, I'm like, ah, it's probably not that scary. I remember that the second one being not as scary and maybe maybe I didn't finish it because it wasn't as scary was the gameplay wasn't as compelling as the first one I didn't finish the first one either so what does that say let's, let's, let's just operate on the assumption that I didn't actually finish the second one um, but I'm really excited to start playing that see what they did differently what I've missed without fire rate that should happen pretty often um, see what I've missed you know and hopefully we can uh, nice and hopefully we can enjoy that as much as we enjoy the first one um, it probably won't live up to the hype I have for the first one the first one just holds a special place in my heart but Wait, why don't I not go there <laughs> Um, the special, the first one does hold a, a special place in my heart, and it's the first, the only horror game I played before that was Slenderman. And I honestly don't even want to count that because that was just a, a walking simulator where you're not supposed to look in a direction. Um, whereas this had some fun interactions. I shouldn't have gone in here. I already had the item, didn't I? I hope so. That's gonna be pretty mad at me. I'm really struggling to see the attacks. Um, so this might not go as well as I hope. Oh, so that was right. 
We are still doing some really good damage to health as we go here. Uh, we did lose all of our shields though, which kind of sucks. Can I go back? Did we find our item room? We did. Okay, so I'm not too mad about that one. Anyway, so heading into Amnesia 2 now. Machine for pigs. Um, I remember remember it was subpar in comparison to the first one. But we'll find out whether that is actually the truth. And whether I can remember correctly or not. I'm very excited to, to figure that out later today. After getting our super recording session out of the way. But yeah, then it's, then it's on to the Outlast. Um, I was absolutely effing terrified in Outlast 1. Um, and I remember the story was way better than I was expecting it to be. So I'm pretty excited to, to jump into that when we're done with the Amnesia games. And then I'm really excited for the third Amnesia. Oh, so what I was saying, I, I remember now about uh, Amnesia 1 and 2. The reason I got onto that tangent is I think 2 has a bit more of an uh, unresolved ending um, than I might have given it credit for in the past. So I'm quite curious to see how that impacts my understanding of the... I was about to say that's just straight up better I think. But I can't remember the esports heads, it could also be pretty good. Um, so I'm quite curious to see how, how that impacts my liking and understanding of the second one. And then if it is not resolved in the second one. Um, the third one's coming out, and maybe the third one. So, so what I'm picturing right now is... I have no idea. This is completely con uh, conjecture right now. But I remember... First one coming out doing incredibly well. I mean, it launched PewDiePie into the stratosphere um, in the world of, of content creation. And these are generally what it is. Um, and in that process, it gained so much traction. Then very quickly after the first, no, maybe not very quickly, maybe like two or three years after the first one, the second one came out. And then they they might have just followed the same recipe, and because it was just this, I'm picking new enemies, because it was just the same recipe, it, it didn't have the same impact as it had. Um, and I think they might have gone back to the drawing board, and they were like, "Yo, guys, uh, we really need, we really need to bring out something." And the fact that it didn't have a, a very big, as as big splash as the first one did, um, might have to do with the fact that it didn't follow the story. Maybe people were expecting to to learn more about what happened to Daniel or maybe Agrippa or John um, where Vea however ever Agrippa was pronouncing it um, maybe it could have had to do with that the fact that the second game isn't that memorable or maybe it can that's not gonna happen unless you find a melee damage weapon uh, maybe that's why it wasn't remembered or, ex or maybe it did really well and I'm just the only person that thought it didn't do too well. Anyway, um, what, I'm, what I'm, this entire conversation is just so that I can say maybe the third one to use the story of Daniel or links up Daniel's story with the second one or something like that. Um, I, I am a very narrative driven person. Um, so having that happen would be quite nice for me. <laughs> we look like a multicolored Sonic. Right now. Oh my lord, we're fast! Good golly! No, move it that way. We can get some double bonus here. Don't actually need this key. I just really want to show off that I was intelligent enough to figure that out. So yeah, that's that's my big hope for. Uh, how are we going to do this? That's my big hope for uh, Amnesia game. Oh, I don't have two bombs. I should have stu stood close. Should, should have been standing closer. Uh, then I actually could have had access to that. Man, that is a... 
That's a misplay of, of night. Um, I will go do one more room just so I can get the, the devil deal active. Um, or the Ares deal. And I might stand a chance of... Wait, why don't I not pick that bomb up? Um, because if I get this bomb, I can get it. This If, if I can access this bomb... Yeah, hell yeah. I can... Uh, Firstly, get the devil deal, and secondly, if I perfect the room, I can gain access to uh, an extra item. So this is a big one. Need to get those guys sorted as quickly as possible. Oh no, I took damage. Wait, isn't the point to take damage? Man, these teleporting guys really are the bane of my existence. All right, well, let's go. Let's go fight Athena. And uh, so, yeah, my big hope for... Uh, I'll, I'll, oh, not even at Athena. You were at Zeus. Oh, snap. Uh, my big hope for the third game would be that it does somehow... Okay, so my first big hope is that when I play second, I realize that there is actually a link um, between them. And then my other hope is that the third game will either link the three if it is not linked or it will couldn't wall that was close would either link the three if they are not linked or will at least uh continue the first one's story give it the sin of a design uh it it deserved what does a right click do because i'm in trouble drops a random coins oh man i really wanted to drop a random item um, we need to be very, very careful with this one now. HP. Not gonna get carried. Alright, let's focus up here. Get all of that out of the way, then just briefly step out. Have these guys spawn in. Get some distance. The fast is very fast, boy. I uh, don't have a way of accessing that. Don't have double jump. Hmm, I was really hoping for some hit points or some chest interactions. We do have keys. I will do that right off the bat. Um, and then just, I don't know what's going on in the room. I'm terrified. We will die if we interact with that. No, I killed myself. We were so strong as well, man. Oh, that's disappointing. That is disappointing. Um, what destroyed, what led to us having that little age because we were, we were topped out. It wasn't a challenge room, um, on the Zeus floor that actually, what was our death there? Hmm. And just ranting and not being focused, but come on. I only talk about this game for so long while I was playing it. Let's see if there's any upgrades we can unlock. For our next run, one extra item in the shop. You get a chance to get a god sprite when you use coins. Uh, let's grab this. This leads into some interesting stuff. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series and if you like this episode, hit the like button, check out the rest of the channel. And uh, subscribe if you like what you see. And I'll catch all of you in the next episode. Cheers.